Hi everyone, welcome to Stampin' Storytellers. Today is another project using the Turtle Friends Stamp Set and Coordinating Punch. They're in the current 2021-2022 annual catalog. And this is a really fun, bright card using the paper piercing technique. So I'm going to start with a layer of uh, basic white and another layer that's an eighth of an inch smaller of Coastal Cabana. So I'm going to just adhere those to my card front right away. So the white layer first. And then the Coastal Cabana layer. Then in your kit is three strips of Pool Party. They have been already embossed with the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. Then there's a strip of Granny Apple Green and a strip of Mango Melody. So I'm going to put, let's see here. They're a little bit different widths. So the widest one is gonna go in the middle. And this bottom one, this is a one inch strip. This one I'm going to put up on dimensionals or prepare it for dimensionals. This middle one is the one I'm going to start with first and glue that straight down. And it's gonna be perfectly straight. These other ones you'll see in a minute will be on an angle. So that one's perfectly straight. This top one will be a little bit at an angle, like that, and then these ones I'm going to cut at an angle. So this one I'll cut going this way. And then this one will go opposite way. And both of those will be on dimensionals as well. This is a fun way to use up all of your little scrap pieces from cutting card layers. And Oh, those little scraps go a long way as well. There we go. So this one is going to go the opposite angle. And then this one like that. So it's, it kind of looks funny right now, but wait, there's more. Then we'll have this large circle. Then I have a scalloped Bermuda Bay circle and a basic white circle and a little one. So these little white ones we're going to stamp on. And then you also have a little scrap of, this is the same with this one. This is the ice cream corner designer series paper. At the time of this video, it is not available anymore, but I know you probably have some in your stash. So we're going to stamp on these three pieces here. I'll bring in just a scrap piece of paper. And the large turtle image and your memento black. I'm going to stamp that guy right in the middle. Perfect. Then I have a little turtle in the middle of this one. Perfect. Now on the scrap, you just need their shells. So I'm going to do the shell this way 
Then I'm going to flip it like this. And I'm going to do that little turtle again. And I just need his shell. So I'm going to do that in the bottom left corner. So now on this side, I'm going to cut, fussy cut out the, his shell. And then I'll fussy cut that shell. So let's do that quick. This is called the paper piercing technique. And it's a really easy technique that I always forget about. So there's the little shell. And now the large one. This is my favorite pattern of this. DSP. And you want to stay tight almost to the inside of the ink line so that you don't have too much overlap on your image when you glue it down. Then we can adhere, or well, maybe I should color first. Let's color. I'm going to color him in, use my Stampin' Blends. I'm going to use Dark Crumb Cake for the large turtle. Oh, and there's a fly in here. Tell me what temperature it is wherever you are watching from. We are in a heat wave that has seemed to have brought out a lot of extra bugs. I don't remember having flies last summer. I'm not using the Stampin' Blends to blend I'm just using it to color him in. You could also use your stamp and write markers. I think you could get away with that on this smaller image. On this one, I'm gonna color his little toes in dark. And then in uh, light soft suede, I'm gonna color the big toes. And this guy is going to be light crumb cake. Now that we have them stamped and colored, I'm going to add a little bit of grass and color that grass in um, light old olive. So just with my memento again, I'm just going to add a couple, kind of to make a line, so that when you're coloring it in, it looks like he's on the grass, like that. And then bring in your light old olive. And then it gives you a nice idea of where to color. Use the large end to fill that in. Perfect. Now they still look really boring, so let's add their shells. There, aren't those super cute now? I love that technique and I, like I said, I always forget that we can do that. I need to use more of our designer series paper. 
So I'll add the big turtle onto that scalloped um, circle. Then we have some embossing to do. I have a little tiny strip of basic black cardstock, and we're going to use the Forever Friends. So, oh, let's do Hello Little One. I haven't used that one yet. It doesn't look clean either. Okay, so we'll stamp that in our Versamark ink. I'm just gonna rub this with my finger a few times to make sure that nothing extra is going to stick. Usually I use my sleeve, but when it's so hot outside, I don't have sleeves on. Then I'll get my white embossing powder. I just keep mine in little Rubbermaid containers. Cover that and tap it off. Then we'll heat set that. Okay, we'll let that dry a little bit. I can do a little angle cut on that though. Then I'm going to take the good ribbon scissors and I have a length of this pool party um, weave ribbon that was in the spring mini catalog and I believe I carried over. I'm just going to cut it in half. Sometimes when our ribbon is too wide you just have to cut it in half and then you get double what you would have gotten. So now on this little tiny piece, I'm going to tie a bow. There we go, so I have a tiny little bow. I apologize for my hands. I was having a messy time with some soft suede ink and it's just not coming off. Okay, this I'm going to trim shorter. And now we can assemble a little bit more. So I'll start with adhering my large circle. And really I'm just going to put some adhesive here, some adhesive there, and a dimensional in the middle. I'll probably even put some dimensionals there. And that's going to hold this circle there. I will Add here our little greeting right here and that heat embossing is not very good but it's because it's so hot um, glue dot for our bubble there's our little bow and then same with this one. I'm just going to add I have all these edge pieces. A couple dimensionals in the middle where it's going to sit there and add him there. And then this little guy will be on dimensionals as well. Right like that. How cute is that with all those circles and you're using your patterned paper. Remember you don't have to hoard your patterned paper. You can order more. You can or order a package now, use some of it, order another package, use some of it. It's really great paper. For the inside, I'm going to add just some grass in Granny Apple Green. And I'm just doing it 
in this color so that I don't have to color him or color the whole thing in again. But then it ties in our design. Add that white layer to the inside of our card. And there we go. How fun is that card? I hope you liked my video today. This card is a part of a stamp camp, a virtual online stamp camp, so you don't have to be anywhere at a certain time. They're just pre-recorded videos that you can do um, in the evenings, you can do them at 2 a.m., you can do them um, whatever time you'd like, and I send you all the make and takes um, ready to go. So everything is pre-cut, you just have to do the stamping, and you would have to do your heat embossing, or you could do a different sentiment as well. I hope you liked my video, thanks for watching, and you can shop my online store at my blog, stampinstorytellers.blogspot.com. We will stamp with you soon, bye!